All right, <clears throat> been a while since I've made a video. Yeah, we are cruising through central Minnesota and found this collection of rigs. Not sure what he's gonna do with them, nor is it many of my business, but it's pretty neat. Some of these, this is an old auto car. Look like 50s and an auxiliary box in it. Frame's been cut at one time. Pretty neat. I'd say 40s or so. We have a diamond T here. Pretty neat old diamond T. Double bunk cab over Pete. Seen its better days. Cummins power in it. 13 speed. Pretty big ride back in her day. Really nice cab over Kenworth here. K100. Really straight, really clean. Holy cow. Oh, be careful, that deer's over there. Oh. Interesting. Four bag suspension. Can't say I've ever seen one of them. That's kind of interesting. Four big. Hmm. Let's see what power it's got. Yeah, it looks like Cummins power. Over here we got another 352 Pete. Oh, it's got a V8. Got a V8 in it. Pretty cool with the air cleaner sticking out the back. You can see a V8 in there. I'm not sure if it's a 903 or a triple nickel. I'm not really quite sure. <laughs> kind of funny walking out here in the field. Let's see these baby, baby deer. Moving on, got this old diamond T from the 60s or 70s. Little GMC Astro day cab. We got some D. Nope, oh, that was way off. Old formula Cummins in it, sticking out the back of the cab. Really nice Freightliner cab over, white Freightliner. This one has the same thing, Floyd's. That one's got a Detroit in it. Well, better put this cap, fuel cap back on. Go full rain. It's got a turbo, so it must be an 8V92. Got this other cab over Freightliner here. Man, look at the stickers that used to be all over this door of this thing. Cummins power in that one. Four spring. Yeah, this freak liner is pretty sweet. Pretty clean. Looks like somebody started sanding on that one. Love the license plate hangers on the front. Uh, check out this bubble nose freight liner. 
You don't see many of them things around. Long frame. Well, looks like it's been cut back there by the fifth wheel. Look at those tank mounts. There's a custom job there. Pretty sweet. Now we got an auxiliary back here hooked up with a cable system. Aluminum box splicer, brownie. Well, it's a single axle. Single drive, anyways. And it looks like it's got a Detroit in it. It's like a 238 or something to that effect, six cylinder. Blower. Let's see up in the cab here. Day cab, by the way, too. International 190. style that one's old there was another baby deer over here somewhere yeah two double bunk peats nose to nose here somebody took one axle off this one doesn't have a motor this big double bunk here. Man, I really could use one of them Peterbilt emblems. I gotta find one of them for my 81 project coming up. Well, this one's I thought I had a cap yeah, a caterpillar in it. model probably doesn't look like a 1693 it's a low door handle Pete so it's probably that frame is just super clean air ride he's collecting some pretty sweet trucks Cool GMC. Looks like a lot of these have come off of an auction. Auctions. Little highway department Chevy. There you guys go. There's your bed. Luxury living back in the day. Stay in a bunkhouse and sleep in your cab. There's an old diamond T. Diamond T here. Cab, a little rough. Uh, check out the 759 Brockway. Diamond T. I guess Cummins Power. I oh, can't really see. Not really sure. Then we got this really nice white Mustang. Or Super Power, I guess. Yeah, Mustang, but it's a white. Pretty neat. I think somebody probably redid it at one time. I just 
Rockway had for power in it. It's like a Cummins. Big Cam 1, 2 or something like that. Check this puppy out. Late 70s. Pete. Cab over Pete. Like a B model, something to that effect. Pretty neat old white Freightliner cab over. And Chevy. I'd say 60s, huh? 60s Freightliner. Power she's got. I thought it looked like Cummins in there. Like the squirrels have made a nest of some sort. Nice K100 here. Maybe a cat power sticker on the side. Yeah, frame is clean. Holy smokes. Kenworth four spring. Wow, that thing is clean. Not many miles on this. Beautiful truck. SQHDs on the back end. Must have pulled a must have pulled a pneumatic tanker. It's got a or a tanker with a pump on it and a live PTO out the back. Wow. A beautiful ride. Some cool rigs. Awesome. Alright guys. We'll catch you on the flip-flop.